Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill and I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, thank you for uh, viewing this channel and all my subscribers, I really appreciate you and anybody else who looks at this, it's great. Um, today we're going to be um, swatching some Posca chubs. I call these chubs, these are actually, there's 15 in this. They're actually eight millimeter um, is the size, and um, yeah, eight, and they're 15. I'm going to go ahead and swatch for you today. In addition to that, I'm going to swatch the blue and black bullet set, and these tips are a little different. Um, as you all know, I'm absolutely in love with Posca markers, and that's really all I use right now, though I've used others. Um, and I kind of wanted to show you these beautiful colors, okay? So I'm just gonna swatch this, and then I'm going to swatch these with the, uh, the white and black ones, okay? All right, let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> Oops, hopefully I won't sniff too much. Hey, this is brown, and I love this brown, and uh, it's very warm. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swatch this. These are, and you can use these ends, see that? So I can keep it in the line with the end. So even though these are really big, they will uh, do you proud. Okay, isn't that a gorgeous brown? Okay, we'll put that aside. Next we have red. I love this red, it's kind of a poppy red. You shake these things up. I've gone ahead and let the ink come down, but when you first buy them, you have to wait till that ink comes down onto that nib. Now see how good you can make these? How, um, even though they're big, the edges, see those edges? They can uh, do detail work for you. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, that's those two. <clears throat> then, this is one of my all-time favorites. It's the pink. I love this pink. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to go around. And you use these markers when you have to fill up wider spaces. Because you don't want to use the finer ones. Because that will just use the, ink, the uh, paint up when you can just do fine lines. Isn't that gorgeous, that pink? Okay, then we have orange. Yep, and these are the eight millimeters, and I really like them for doing a uh, big, big piece art where I have to paint and fill in larger amounts. But look how nice it'll go in the little area, the little areas too. Okay, that's my dog stretching at the door. We'll ignore him. Go away, dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. This is a light, uh, what is this? A light orange. Okay, I thought I had that right. Light orange. Anytime I'm doing art and I close that door, the dogs want in, of course. Never fails. Okay, there's a light orange. That's almost a flesh color. All right, okay, and now we have yellow. This is a yellow, basic yellow. Look at that, that ink, uh, uh, paint just really does a nice job, don't you think? I do. Look at that, gorgeous colors. This is a, uh, I wanna say a light green, and I'm right, I'm getting to know these colors. This is my light green. They probably hear me talking, the dogs, and wonder who I'm talking to. Huh? it's hilarious. I hope you're all doing well today. We've got beautiful sunshine today. I've been up, been constructive, and haven't sat on my phone all day, which is a plus. 
All right, we have a uh, bright yellow, which I don't know why they call this a bright yellow. It looks like kind of an orange to me, but I don't name them. Okay, let's see. Doesn't that look more like orange? Doesn't look like bright yellow to me, but that's what it says. Bright yellow, see? Bright yellow. Okay, I don't get it. Looks like an orange, but anyway, there's that. Then we have our good old white, which really looks good on this paper. This is a tan uh, sketchbook from Nile Tech, Nil Tech. Got it on Amazon. I get all my stuff on Amazon because it's cheaper that way. Oh, look at that white on that paper. That really stands out, doesn't it? <clears throat> And uh, if any of you have any comments, that would be great. I don't get many comments. Give me a comment. Shoot me a, a line to see if you use these Posca markers or if you ever have. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous black. And then we have uh, green. Yep, green. Shake it up. Go on here, oh yeah, beautiful. This is such a beautiful green. I just love these colors. I just can't tell you enough. Uh, now, you don't have to have, I went outside the line on there. You don't have to have fancy sketchbooks or these pens, you can use paper bags, you can do whatever, you know? You don't have to have all this stuff. Just start. Um, the reason I have this channel is for people to relax and watch me do art. That's the purpose of this channel, for you to watch me do my art and relax. I'm not a professional artist, but I'm someone who's been doing this for a long time. This is a violet, and I've been using Posca markers for a couple of years now and I'm spoiled with them. I've saved up to buy them, and you don't have to pay a lot of money for them. You can get them in smaller groupings that are more cost effective. I'm gonna outline all this when I'm done because I've kind of gone out of the lines. Okay, this is a um, light blue. I love these blues. And so you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, acrylic paint this is acrylic paint but it's in marker markers oh, one of my dogs barking uh this is blue and let's see got this and got that this kind of a royal blue if you ask me Okay, so there you have it. We have swatched the 15 from this packet of 15. I call them chubs or eight millimeters. Then I bought this other black and white bullet top tip set. And I'll show you these. The uh, nibs are a little different. See that? It's rounded like a bullet where the nibs on the other one are square. Oh yeah, with the rounded nib, the bullet one, you can kind of get those edges a little better. I see why they did that. This is a seven millimeter, so it is a little less ink than the eight. But isn't that nice? That's what this PC seven millimeter. Okay, put that there. And then we have a white one. I went ahead and opened these and got the ink going down for you. Again, it's a bullet. Uh, tip, as they're called. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Bullet tip. Kind of went outside the lines. There's that. Very nice. Those whites really stick out on this uh, tan sketchbook. 
Okay, and then we have a, a white one. This is a uh, 1.3 millimeter, a three white. Ah, got that going. White didn't come out quite as good as I'd hoped. I don't know what the deal is with that one. Okay, and then we have a black fine bullet tip. See that? It's a 1.3 or a three millimeter. And we'll fill that in. This is the one I use to make these squares and circles. So there's that. And then we have a white uh, five millimeter. Those are the medium ones I call. Here we go. Ink's not wanting to come out so great on these smaller ones for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, I'll shake that up and that'll come out better than the other, than it did. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this, which is a uh, five millimeter, the black in that set. I purchased that set. Again, I go through Amazon to get all my stuff. You can too. I have some helpful links if you're interested. Oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Wow, that's shiny, isn't that great? Okay, so now, because I do have a little bit more time, I'm gonna go ahead and s outline these with this three millimeter black. <clears throat> okay, I hope you can see me do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. And don't worry if you don't get it just right, just make it a thicker black line. That's what I do. Oh, yes. outlining is very fun. I love to watch people color, do you? It's so relaxing. Again, I am not a professional artist. I am somebody who's been crafting and doing all kinds of art for relaxation for years. And I thought I'd share that with you all and these Posca markers. Okay, let's see what else. We got this pink. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look how that black outline really makes these colors pop. Wouldn't you agree? There we go. Can you still see all this? Good. And then we'll go around like this. It's so fun. One of the things I like to do is create my art and then um, outline it and color it. I enjoy coloring my own art. What do you like to do? Send me a comment and I'll, I'll answer you. Remember, we have to let these things dry. Sometimes I get so excited, I don't uh, let my stuff dry and then I get it all over me, which is fine, I'm washable. And so, yeah, this is where we went out of line here. Uh, still gone, but that's okay. If I make a mistake, a lot of times with these acrylic pens, I just let it dry and go over it. And uh, then that's the beauty of these acrylic uh, paint pens. You, once it dries, you can go over it and erase all your mistakes with just a coat of paint. Oh shoot, I went over that, didn't I? There's that. And then we're going over the navy blue, or royal blue. It's called blue, but dark blue. Okay, there we go. Hey, that's great. Let's see, what else? And these are already outlined. You can see there. So that's what I've got for you today. I showed you my pens. 
this set. This is a bullet um, top. And you can tell because it's got that at the top. And let's see, is that one too? No. Yep, there it is. See, it's got that bullet tip. You can always tell your Posca markers by the tips, usually. And so, uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it today and gotten to relax. You have a great day, and I hope to see you next time with Arting with Mrs. Gill. Bye-bye.